We're going to give the question rule now. And um, before we do so, uh, let's recall the product rule that we gave in the last lecture, which tells us that if we have the product of two functions, then the derivative is the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. Now, it turns out that um, the question rule is quite closely linked to the product rule. And um, we will see that there are some similarities, but there is a very important difference here. So on the bottom, uh, we have the derivative of the denominator, I'm sorry, the denominator squared. On the top, we have something very similar to what we have in the product rule with the exception that the sign between the two terms is negative. And this makes it very important to start with the derivative of the numerator times the denominator. And that's the quotient rule. So for example, uh, let's apply it in uh, a very direct way first. Uh, so let's say that we want to find the derivative of a polynomial. I'll pause the video and try to apply it yourselves to see how this would work. And pretty much uh, according to our formula, this would be the derivative of x cubed plus 3x plus 1 times uh, the denominator x squared plus 4x plus 5 minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator divided by the denominator square. Now we can write the answer. So this will be 3x squared plus 3 times x squared plus 4x plus 5 minus x cubed plus 3x plus 1 times 2x plus 4 divided by x squared plus 4x plus 5 square. And as we're going to see, whenever we're trying to find the derivative, there is no particular reason why uh, we should uh, do any simplification at this point, uh, since our focus is on applying the rules of differentiation. But uh, what I would like to emphasize here is that uh, we don't need to do this uh, intermediate step uh, right here. So in other words, there's no particular need to go through this step. We can just directly write uh, the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator right here. And actually, once we realize the uh, structure of the quantity that we see uh, on the uh, right of the quotient rule, then we will realize that these are the only two things that um, were not given initially and we need to find, which are the derivatives separately of the numerator and the denominator. So let's do an example where uh, we applied uh, right away. So let's say that we have 7x cubed plus uh, 5x squared plus 2 divided by 8x squared plus 6x plus 9. Uh, you can pause the video and try to find the derivative yourselves. And here it is. So it's going to be 21x squared plus 10x, that's the derivative at the top, times the bottom, 8x squared plus 6x plus 9 minus, and now we're, we're going to write the top, and then the derivative of the bottom, which is uh, 16x plus 6, divided by uh, 8x squared plus 6x plus 9. 
whole square. And at this point, I would like to emphasize uh, what I just described. So this particular pattern, according to which uh, what we could do is try to focus on the uh, two derivatives that need to be found and just place everything else up almost in advance. So let me uh, do an example where I apply this principle. And let's say that we want to find uh, the derivative of square root of x plus two to the x over x cubed plus three to the x. Okay, let's try to find the derivative of this. So, so pretty much the principle that I'm going to apply is that I have to start with the derivative of the numerator, I will bother with it afterwards, times the denominator, which I know what it is. So I can write it, minus. Uh, and um, a quick look at something I just remember from the previous page, just to make sure that something is correct. But in any case, and then the numerator, times the derivative of the denominator, which is something that we need to find over the denominator square. And once we have this structure in mind, then we realize that the only thing that we can actually, that we need to actually uh, fill out here are the derivative of the uh, numerator and the derivative of the denominator. The reason I like to do it this way is because once I write this and I can focus on the two things, the two new things that I need to find. So the derivative of the numerator is going to be one over two square root of x plus two to the x ln two. And the derivative of the denominator is three x squared plus uh, three to the x ln three. And that's it. Um, and this, this kind of thinking becomes especially useful when uh, we're supposed to apply uh, the rules uh, at the same time. So we may have to apply uh, the product rule and the quotient rule in the same differentiation. So for the sake of the uh, example, let's say that we had something like uh, uh, three uh, to the x times x squared plus square root of x over x cubed minus uh, 5x. So let's say that we want to take the derivative of this. Uh, for all of these examples, let me remind you that uh, it might be a good idea to pause the video and try to find the, the um, derivative yourselves before seeing the answer. And here, I'm going to apply the same principle. So I'm going to prepare a parenthesis. I have to make it a little larger for this one, times the denominator minus uh, the top the numerator. And here I have to put the derivative of the denominator that I'm going to bother with it in a moment. And I know that this is the denominator square. So in other words, I place all the things that I can, that I know in advance and have nothing to do with taking the derivatives. And now I know that the derivative of the top of the numerator needs to go into the first parenthesis and the derivative of the denominator needs to go into the second parenthesis. So uh, how do I find this? Well, the derivative of, uh, square root of x is one over two square root of x, right? And now in some sense, and let me put a parenthesis which is not needed, but I will put it in order to emphasize that in this parenthesis, I will put the derivative of the uh, product. So I have to apply the product rule now because I, I'm looking at three to the x times x squared. So what is the derivative of three to the x times x squared? Think of it as a separate exercise using the product rule. And this would be three to the x ln three times x squared uh, plus three to the x 
times 2x. And that gives us uh, a derivative of the numerator. As for the denominator, it's 3x squared minus 5. And that's all. OK, uh, let's do one more. Why don't we try to uh, have uh, two product rules this time uh, combined with uh, this? So let's see if we can do that. So let's say that we have something like uh, 2 to the x squared of x minus 3 to the x uh, over uh, x squared times 5 to the x plus cube root of x. OK, <laughs> let's make it a little interesting. So uh, if you want, uh, again, and it would be very useful to do so, uh, pause the video and try to do it yourselves. So again, I will need a pretty long parenthesis for the derivative of the numerator. Then I put times the denominator. minus the numerator times a pretty long parenthesis where I'm going to fit the derivative of the denominator over the denominator square. Now I'm just going to fill out the two things that are missing. So what is the derivative of the uh, denominator? Do you want the, den I'm, I'm sorry, of the numerator, the numerator is just the, broad, the difference of two things, 2 to the x times square root of x minus 3 to the x. So why don't I start by writing the derivative of 3 to the x, which is 3 to the x ln 3. And now I need the derivative of the product, 2 to the x times square root of x, which is 2 to the x ln 2 times square root of x plus 2 to the x times 1 over 2 square root of x. Okay, uh, now let's go to the denominator. For the denominator, again, I need the derivative of cube root of x. Remember that cube root of x is the same thing as x to the one third. So what's the derivative of x to the one third? One third x to the negative two thirds by the power. rule. Again, if you have any doubts about the power rule and how it's applied to such roots, uh, please, uh, revisit the previous lecture that was explaining the power rule. And now I have to just find the derivative of x squared times 5 to the x. For that, I apply the product rule. So this will be the derivative of the first, 2 to the x times 5 to the x plus x squared times 5 to the x ln 5. And that gives us uh, the derivative that we were looking at. And that completes uh, this lecture. Thanks for watching.